Artificial intelligence. It's on the forefront of technological innovation. You've probably heard of its potential to cure diseases, beat people on chess, or even surpass human intelligence. But how does it work? And how would a self-learning AI behave in Minecraft? To answer these questions, we're going to talk about deep learning, a type of AI that is capable of making decisions on its own and learning from the outcomes of those decisions without human intervention. So how exactly does it work? Well, deep learning works the same way your brain makes decisions. If you were deciding whether or not you want to fight a zombie, your brain would evaluate different variables like what weapons and armor you have. These variables can have different weights, meaning you care about both but to different degrees. For example, you could care more about your sword because it determines how fast you can kill the zombie. That'd mean there'd be a higher weight assigned to it. These factors all contribute to a threshold that determines whether or not you fight or you run. The algorithm will try to adjust these weights and variables based on unfavorable outcomes like dying and favorable ones like surviving. So what would this look like in Minecraft? Now you might have jumped to the conclusion that an AI would be extremely smart and build massive redstone contraptions way beyond our comprehension. But the exact opposite is actually true. An AI just starting out would be terrible at the game, even worse than you. This is because when there's not much data for the AI to work off of, is nothing to base things on. It's absolutely no idea what any block is or what any mobs do. It would mine cobblestone even if diamonds were right next to it. Assuming we feed the algorithm basic data, the only thing the AI would recognize is that there are blocks and entities around them with no idea of what any of it does. Imagine playing Minecraft with your monitor turned off. Yeah, that's rough. In order to become better at the game, the AI has to make mistakes. A lot of them. It's gonna have to fall into lava, run into cacti, fall off a cliff, get killed by zombies, get killed by skeletons, not get killed by spiders in the daytime but then die to them at night. It wouldn't even know how to craft anything. Everything that experienced players know not to do essentially has to happen to the AI in order for it to absorb that information into its dataset and then come to the right conclusions about it. In the lava example, the AI will have to oblivously run into lava for the first time, die, and then realize that dying is not the outcome it wanted and avoid lava from there on out. Now you might be thinking that training this AI is going to take a lot of data. And you'd be correct. Although we like to meme about Minecraft's simplicity, its systems are actually pretty complex. As humans, we already have an initially high starting point when we first play Minecraft relative to a computer. We can tell that zombies are probably bad and that lava will burn us even if we're completely new to the game. That's because we've already learned about it outside of Minecraft. We know in our head what hot things generally look like and contribute that to what's on our screen. The AI essentially starts out as a newborn baby trying to play Minecraft, but after time, it grows more and more proficient. Now let's talk about something way more interesting. What would an advanced AI look like playing hardcore Minecraft? I talked with a couple different machine learning researchers at various universities, and I came to these conclusions. Assuming that their ultimate goal is to survive, the advanced AI would have already absorbed many gigabytes of datasets, examining all of the things that caused it to lose hearts. It won't even attempt to go into the end because it's not necessary for survival, and the last thing it needs is some random large entity blasting it from the sky. It probably won't even attempt to go into caves because it's learned that caves are filled with monsters, and fighting monsters increases the chance of dying. An AI would realistically try to optimize the two things a Minecraft player needs to survive, food and shelter. As long as a player has food, they won't starve to death, and as long as a player has shelter, they never have to increase their chance of dying by fighting mobs. It doesn't care about having fun or any of the emotions we have, so it wouldn't rule out options that we might find boring. One possibility is that the AI will create its own crop farm for food, and during the night, it digs three blocks down and holes up until the sun comes up again. Another possibility is that it figured out the optimal solution is barricading itself in the nether with a wheat farm forever, so it doesn't have to worry about hostile mobs spawning during the night. Or even doing none of that, and deciding to hide out in a Minecraft village, using the safety provided by the iron golems to build a wall before they get overwhelmed. If it was super super advanced, it might even become so adept at combat that it actually goes mining and fights zombies for rotten flesh as its main food source. Of course, these are all just possibilities. I don't know any of these things for sure as there is no Minecraft AI that has become that good yet. I assume that's because most AI researchers are working on things that are slightly more important than surviving in a block game. 
The client in the background of this video is a pathfinding hack called the Baritone Project. I thought it was pretty cool how it's able to continuously calculate and optimize trajectories towards crops and ores in randomly generated worlds. But it's not machine learning because it doesn't truly quote unquote learn from the consequences. This is because there's only one optimization sequence and that sequence doesn't become more and more efficient based off of the data that it receives. However, there are things that Minecraft is helping out with. Recently, Mojang published a video about AI research being conducted in Minecraft. They announced that they were currently using Minecraft as a test environment for algorithms that will have applications to real life technologies. Recognizing blocks in Minecraft is becoming a segue for neural networks to recognize things like carpets in real life. Now, how cool is that? It's just completely mind blowing to me how the simple block game I grew up with is changing the world so dramatically. It has evolved from my personal creative outlet to a catalyst for technological innovation that would determine the future of humanity itself. And it is for this reason I can say without a single doubt in my mind that Minecraft is better than Fortnite. Thank you.